One other quick thought. It, a, a concern about preemption is that it freezes the law and that, for example, a definition of personal information that, that uh, was thought of in, say, 2008 is now outmoded. There are ways to give, for example, an expert agency like the FTC rulemaking authority to make sure that the law keeps up and then to have enforcement by state AGs, the FTC, you know, maybe the, the, some sort of individual redress, um, so that the law is dynamic and keeps up. Uh, on information security, the, there really is a problem uh, from, I do a lot of cybersecurity governance work and, and work on cybersecurity programs. There's a problem having lots of very specific technical requirements on security. But one can key to security standards that evolve over time, again, as a way to keep up. And, and security standards are, are ultimately not the solution because you need real risk management thinking that's more dynamic, it's not a checklist. But security standards are in a sort of escalator that evolve over time and that also uh, attach where companies actually do operationalize their security programs. So there are ways to take advantage of um, flexibility as part of preemption. So the preemption is not just freezing us in 2020, say, on what the state of privacy and security good practices are. Um, but do provide confidence and mechanisms. You can also have reviews being done. There are a whole bunch of different ways to make this dynamic um, and uh, to continue to protect consumers in the future.